so here we are. Hi uh, Ray, we just wanted to um, um, record uh, a few things uh, here um, for you. Um, well, actually what happened, um, when we read your email that you sent us a couple of days ago, um, what really happened was that uh, when I finished reading your email, Mardi started to talk to Gary. Uh, we didn't ask for anything, but she, she was kind of very eager to speak. And uh, um, she told us a few bits and pieces and we agreed that we're going to record a session uh, um, and send it to you so uh, perhaps you could listen what uh, she had to say. Um, we didn't ask for anything, we didn't uh, influence anything, it just happened uh, naturally. As you know, Gary can hear, um, he's sensitive uh, to people from who cross over from the other side. And um, we, uh, sitting here right now, we would like to, um, Mardi to join us and um, to comment and uh, to refresh what she already told us. And, um, um, we just take it from here, really. Um, it was uh, like we have to uh, um, ask Mardi to come forward, and uh, um, whenever she's ready, um, we have got the camera running right now. Um, so if uh, if she's here, then um, uh, um, I would like to um, maybe ask a couple of questions because that was like started um, soon after we were. Uh, we finished reading the email that Margie started to comment and um, she was just kind of talking and talking and talking and uh, um, we were not prepared at that time to um, to record, we didn't know that she was going to come. Right. So we just simply... Um, and she agreed to mm -hmm. that we could ask her some questions yes. tonight Yes. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm see how it goes. I don't have anything in my mind. It's, mm -hmm. I'm just blank and waiting to yes. see if she speaks. Yes, of course. Right. So whenever, uh, whenever you're ready, Mardi, I mean, um, I would like to ask uh, her perhaps uh, um, how she feels uh, about uh, um, current, race current situation, uh, what happens, uh, and because she, she sounded really concerned, so um, we just simply want to um, just uh, give an opportunity to express. Uh, she, she's speaking. She's not speaking over you, but she's ready to say something. Okay. She's saying that her big concern, the reason that she reached out and contacted us, is because she's concerned about the uh, the way the relationship is going between Ray and the, and her two children. Their two children. Yes, yes. Well, adult children, Vicky and um, Anthony. That's right, yes. Mm -hmm. Vicky and Anthony, yes. Mm -hmm. She was concerned, so she wanted to um, comment a few things. Um, well, th that, that, that is how it started, and I, I just maybe ask uh, um, for any insight on um, Mardi. Can you give us any insight on how um, Ray could handle his... Um, situation with Anthony at the moment because of what happened there. Well, she's she's saying that first of all, she doesn't want to say anything in a judgmental way. Yeah. That mm -hmm. there's no wrong or right. There's just, mm -hmm. just how she sees things happening mm -hmm. and how she thinks things could be improved or, you know, not maybe not corrected, but improved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's up to the individual person mm -hmm. how they want to do it, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, but it's basically she's focusing on the relationship issues and when Ray said in the email mm -hmm. something that happened with Anthony, mm -hmm. yeah, that really, like, believe it or not, she, she, she's passed on, Ray, but she's, she can hear you, she can see you, mm -hmm. just as good as, you know, anybody. Mm -hmm. So... It's not like, well, I don't know really what, I'm, what I want to say, but um, it's, it's like she's still here yes. as far as when she sees something happening, but, but you can't see her or hear her, mm -hmm. but she's still here and she's seeing the interactions and it's having an effect on her as much as if she was alive and saw her happening. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically when, um, I guess, Ray swore at 
his son or something yeah. when he came with the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it goes even before that. It was he indicated that there were other incidents too right. of this kind, kind of mm -hmm. something like that. But mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, we was Ray was disturbed when he what he wrote in the email that he was disturbed, mm -hmm. you know, for what happened. And mm -hmm. obviously, Mardi in, in started to talk to you soon after we read that email. And she was saying mm -hmm. that Anthony was very hurt because, and she also said that Anthony wouldn't do that to you, Ray. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I should like repeat what was said. It doesn't matter because Ray knows what Ray was said. Ray knows, yes, right, yes, right. yes. I mean, this is going to be like a YouTube video, so I don't need to yes. go into like full yeah, I mean, we're, we're words. Just, and, yeah, we're recording. Right. It was it was the situation when he went to with the car to <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think. Ray was going to get the tube or somewhere. So going the to the tube after the party. Okay, left. right, right. And she says that Anthony was very hurt, mm -hmm. and Anthony wouldn't do that to you. And she said, "This is what she said, Ray. She said, if if um, Anthony had done that to you, you would have been so mad that you would have punched him in the nose." <laughs> yes, <laughs> could have. Yes. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would have twice as regretted it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can only be worse, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know. What it can get, get worse, I know. Well, um, well, Marty was uh, kind of concerned about uh, um, Anthony and um, the situation with Vicky as well, because um, she was like telling us um, when she was speaking to us yesterday that uh, um, what happened really um, at the time when she passed away that the, there was not like a family meeting and talking about it openly everything was like defragmented and spread almost under the carpet and right I, I could I could explain it a little bit she mm -hmm. said that when she passed it was like a big taboo that nobody wanted to really talk mm -hmm. about my passing it mm -hmm. was I mean, there might have been some bits and pieces, but it was, there wasn't, she, she had hoped that the whole family would sit down, mm -hmm. when I say family, you know, the three of them, yes. sit down mm -hmm. and talk it through, because mm -hmm. there was a lot of misunderstandings, and there was a lot of things that Ray, you could have said, uh, especially to Vicky, um, and Vicky to you, but it never happened, and mm -hmm. uh, Marty says that, um, when you cross over and she's giving you her perspective, you have regrets of things that you could have done that didn't that you didn't do in your lifetime. Mm -hmm. And when you cross over, you don't get the chance to do them with the person while they're still alive. Mm -hmm. And it's frustrating because she's telling you she's very frustrated because so many times in your uh, interactions with your children, she's like, standing there shouting to be heard, mm -hmm. you know, because I guess she was, she's saying she was sort of the family, um, the middle neutral person, sort of, I don't know if that's the mediator. right word. Mediator. Oh, like a mediator Something person. Like she smoothed the things out after, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, with both sides, mm -hmm. and she can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she can a little bit now, but. Yes, um, but she's not uh, like having mm -hmm. full access to uh, Ray. He cannot like see her or hear her, really, you know. And she says that she, anything that's, that I'm telling you that's coming from her, please, Ray, don't take it inside internally. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't internalize it and blame yourself, she says, because her perspective right now, she has perfect clarity of how everybody feels. Mm -hmm. And she says, Anthony, Vicky, and you... All of you love each other, mm -hmm. you, but you all have issues with each other, mm -hmm. and none of you are all right or all wrong. It's just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, your feelings are valid, how you feel, but how you mm -hmm. um, get your feelings across to the other people in the family mm -hmm. is the important thing, mm -hmm. you know? She doesn't want you to change how you are. She doesn't want you to not do or say things because the, over something you feel, yeah. but she's saying that you could 
maybe say what you want to say, but in a way that they could hear you. Okay, all right, that's yeah. important. In a way, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a certain way of uh, expressing yourself and saying mm -hmm. the things to people. Otherwise, they wouldn't want to know and they would be busy or they, they give you impression that they, they're not interested. Right, if you, if mm -hmm. she's saying that if something is said the wrong way, mm -hmm. people stop hearing you or they hear you in a negative way and then the whole conversation is tainted. Yes. If there even is a conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's yeah. important. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, because, I mean, it's been like a, like a big issue, a big barrier, you know, uh, built. And um, it's like things that are not told when they have to be told sometimes. It's better to, to come clean and say how you feel and uh, how, express your feelings. Because if you don't, uh, once you sweep something uh, under the carpet, and you get that kind of habit, it continues that way. Mm -hmm. And nothing is ever resolved. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, things continuing um, basically on that mode, and uh, it gets to nowhere, it gets stuck really. Mm -hmm. Nothing is resolved, that's the point. And she's saying this, she's saying when you were at Harry's party, his Harry, yeah, Harry, Harry, yeah. when you were at Harry's party, and it was Mel and her mother, and sister maybe or something yeah, like yeah, that sisters, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it was like all women and you were there mm -hmm. she's saying that none of them were wanting to ignore you she says believe it or not <laughs> she said everybody was sort of a little uncomfortable and it was mm -hmm. not because they didn't like each other so much but it was more because they didn't know what to say ah. and she said she knows you felt like they either didn't like you or didn't want you there mm -hmm. or were ignoring you purposely, mm -hmm. but that isn't true. Okay. She's saying that it wasn't true. Because she can see from her perspective mm -hmm. how they felt, really. Mm -hmm. So it's not guessing. I mean, yeah. art can see. Mm -hmm. And she was probably there because it was the birthday mm -hmm. of her grandchild, you know. And she says when you left, everybody felt bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They really did. And she says, unfortunately, she says that you felt, I don't know if justified, she's not saying justified, she's saying that, uh, hold on, I gotta... Don't worry, don't worry, take your time. I don't know what the right word, she's groping for a word. Um, you felt like it was the right thing to do, but mm -hmm. um, she's saying what you could have done is maybe mm -hmm. spent a little time with, with Harry and, you know, Anthony and said to Anthony, look, I'm going to stay like an hour or something, whatever you felt comfortable with because you had just come from like a proceed, the procedure. The surgery, was that yes. the same day? No, that was a week. A week, a week okay. Still but he still wasn't mm -hmm. really, I mean, not feeling that well yet, mm -hmm. not recovered fully. Yeah. And, you know, even a short visit, Anthony would have understood that you needed to leave yeah, and then you wouldn't have yeah. got into that uncomfortable Definitely. situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus, Anthony, she says, Anthony was your ride home and she said, she knows you're very independent, you don't really like help from anybody, but to take it out on Anthony, it was the wrong person to do it to because he's got a heart of gold, she says. He does, Anthony. he does, Anthony. Okay. Anthony has heart okay. of gold. And she, like yeah. she said, she's not blaming you, Ray, because mm -hmm. how you felt was mm -hmm. totally justified yeah. because you can't have a feeling and it's not real. It's how you feel. Exactly, you can but, fake your own feelings. Right, exactly. Yeah. But it could have been handled mm -hmm. in a little different way and mm -hmm. she's saying Anthony's very hurt. Oh. Um, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want to tell you how to handle it. She's mm -hmm. just telling you what she knows. Okay. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, sometimes talking to someone um, it heals a lot, especially when both sides can express how they feel, and that clears the air, that clears everything, really. And she's saying, mm -hmm. "I don't know if you'll believe that Gary's speaking my words." Mm -hmm. But, she says, I darn well have given you many signs, she says, and you know what I'm talking about. Perfume scents. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, perfume, yes. What yes. else is she saying? Like noises and yeah, yeah. electrical things malfunctioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says many 
coincidental things. Yes. And she says, and she's right there. She says, she's not just telling you that she's still alive. She says, I'm telling you, I'm standing right next to you, Ray. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're doing. I oh know what God. you're saying. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I totally, totally embrace that, and I believe because I mean, I we, I had my proof uh, that you've got brilliant ability, obviously, to to hear from the other side. You know, uh, we don't need any more proofs. We're just passing on the message here to Raymond uh, right now. You know, and this is like honest message. There's nothing to attack. It's just to help you, perhaps, to make up your mind, maybe. Um, how you can handle in your own way um, situations that hurting you or may hurt others, you know, um, because we all can do with a little bit of change and perhaps uh, it's good when you have a room for change, you know, that's the one thing. Mm -hmm. When you consider that you can do certain things in a different way, that's the, that's the start really, mm -hmm. you know, and this is important because uh, um, as Gary just said, I mean, Marty was frustrated quite a few times. I remember it was like um, now and now and then she comes when you, whenever we mention Marty or Ray, Marty very often pops in and says a couple of things, we, you know, and, and then suddenly goes, you know. But mm -hmm. she interacts with you. Uh, you know, not, not, this, is not, this is not the first or second she's, time. She, oh, go ahead. I'll tell no, you. No, no, it's after. fine. Well, she's saying this right now. She's saying. When you gave, when Vicky gave you a tumble dryer, oh yeah, she says that you hurt Vicky's feelings about the tumble dryer, <gasps> and in the long run, you ended up appreciating the tumble dryer, but it was too late, too little, too late to for Vicky to feel good about it. Yeah. But and she says, and she also saw you using a tablet or something from Anthony lying on your back or somewhere is it like because something was going on with your big computer your desktop and she says and you were actually kind of appreciating that you had it yeah, but we can't prove this but is that can't if that's, prove it if that's the truth for she, you all she says but she tablet. wanted to give you a boot over it because oh, Jesus. you know if you could have only graciously told them at the time when they gave it to you Mm -hmm. Because they really gave you those gifts from their heart. Oh yeah, from their heart. It's yeah. really difficult to buy a gift for anybody, as you know. It is difficult. She says, like when you're, you know, getting mm -hmm. a gift for Harry's birthday or whatever, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a difficult choice to buy anybody a gift. You want to get just the right gift, yeah. and they really, their intentions were very genuine. Genuine. So that's mm -hmm. nice. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That that is good. You know. Yeah. That and, is very very good. And she's yeah. saying like Vicky. Um, she doesn't. She, she she doesn't. She doesn't think about like you're inheriting your property or your bank account or anything. That she really doesn't. She says mm -hmm. uh, she knows Vicky, and that's not what she's about. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, it was like misunderstanding, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't. I'm just. Repeating. I mean, Ray had the impression that oh, she's just waiting for me to to pass away so she could grab the uh, money and house, whatever you know. But mm -hmm. Mar, did you just say that's not the case, obviously. She says, mm -hmm. why, why don't you ask her about the, the purse, the purse that, uh, oh. there was a purse with some money and the personal things of uh, yeah, yeah, Mads? Yeah. Yes, yes. She says, why don't you ask her about that? Because um, the reason she took it isn't the reason you think. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Don't know much about oh it. Oh my goodness. There was an incident, yes. There was okay. an incident, yes. Okay. Mardi uh, uh, um, uh, basically um, had some, like, in a purse, some money or something. And Ray mentioned to me a couple of times that Vicky took it after Mardi passed away. Uh, my goodness, wow. So mm -hmm. she just mentioned that so Ray could ask her, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. She says the reason she took it isn't the reason you think, mm -hmm. but. She says that she doesn't want to say any more about the purse. Of course. Because of course. it's between them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She says they may never discuss it. She's just, just throwing it just out. Just kind of mentioned. Uh, but that it's not what you yes. think, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, Mardi, uh, perhaps I don't know if you could, but could you give Ray maybe a little insight how to deal with uh, Mel and her family? Uh, because uh, uh, that is a difficult spot. I mean, um, Aunt is married to Mel, obviously, and uh, 
the array doesn't really feel uh, part of that family, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have any like insight, and not even asking for advice, because I know about free will, that um, you can only say your opinion if you if you could, you know, if if it would be any help to Ray, how to handle this uh, situation. Well, she says that she knows that Ray doesn't have much. Um, I mean, I don't know who would be watching this video, but um, Ray. just Ray. Mm -hmm. She's saying he, she's saying that she knows that Ray doesn't much care for Mel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That yeah. she, as far as he's concerned, mm -hmm. she's just spends too much money, mm -hmm. uh, lazy, oh. a few other okay. things. <laughs> okay, Mandy. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. But that's yeah. but besides mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, she's always gonna be family because she's flesh and blood with his grand grandson, two, grandchildren, grandchildren yes. two, two grandchildren, two, right? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. yeah, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And mm -hmm. because of that, you've got to you've got to maintain a, at least a basic relationship enough to be mm -hmm. welcome there, you know. Civil relationship. And it's difficult. It's a mm -hmm. it's a balancing act to do it. Balancing, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's how you approach people, I think, how you, I mean, you don't have to become best friends or anything, but just to be tolerable, you know, and uh, polite, but, you know, sometimes say, look, I'm busy, I, I can pop in for a few minutes or so, you d decide the time, so then you don't have to feel like you're stuck some way, mm -hmm. when you don't want to go, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as Margie said earlier, I mean, uh, just pop in, I'm not too well, I'm just leaving in about half an hour, one hour, or whatever. Yeah. Everybody's happy, so, you know, mm -hmm. just to avoid, because um, people usually get at each other's throat when they're stuck somewhere and they don't know how to get out, you know, the situation, and, and they want to go, and but they don't know how to handle, how to say, look, I really want to go, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, it's simple, I mean, say, look, I have to go, I've got things to do, whatever, it was nice to see you, I had a great time, that's it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to get involved, really, because, I mean, Lots of people married to the family that uh, they don't approve each other, you know, people that not immediately she's, involved. She's saying this too. Mm -hmm. um, she's saying that, Ray, the way that you uh, hold things in for so long mm -hmm. that when they finally come out, mm -hmm. it's kind of like an explosion and it's a over looks like an overreaction. And, okay. and mm -hmm. the people that see it think it's because of like one situation mm -hmm. that they don't realize that you've been like maybe holding it in for a while yes and then it comes out kind of extreme mm -hmm. um, and she's saying it's not good for your health to hold it in and she doesn't think you should do that mm -hmm. she says but it's also not good mm -hmm. when these incidents happen mm -hmm. because you go home feeling guilty mm -hmm. feeling bad and then you internalize it again and she says it's like a like a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. The lid's on for just so long till the pressure builds yeah. too high and yeah. then the pressure cooker blows mm -hmm. the lid. Yes, yeah. And then it starts all over again. It explodes mm -hmm. because it's got nowhere else to go, so mm -hmm. it comes as an explosion of anger. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, to relieve yourself of the anger, of the, that energy you explode, basically. And she says, you know, you have to explore ways to handle it, manage it, mm -hmm. Um, more constructively. Yeah, constructively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. It's not. Th there's, there's no perfect uh, solutions to things like no. this. There's no perfect, no. but uh, looking for uh, accepted, uh, acceptable solutions. That's mm -hmm. the key, I think. You know. That's what it is. Um, yeah. yeah um, and yeah, I've written a couple of questions. I've got it in here because I, I wasn't. It's not like we were prepared here. Um, is there anything like... Uh, um, um, I'm asking Mardi, uh, like uh, anything you would like to say uh, regarding uh, the past um, while you gone, uh, when you were, you know, after you gone, you know, when you went with Ray maybe, uh, anything uh, that you wanted to say and you perhaps didn't have time to say because you passed away? You know, 
she she says that she doesn't blame him for her death. Okay. Uh, she says, let the let the guilt go, Ray. Okay. She said, you did not just everything you could, you did more than almost anybody could would have ever done. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't blame you. She mm -hmm. says she, she says when you were doing CPR or something? Yes, 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 okay. yes. You were doing like yes. CPR mm -hmm. in the kitchen floor? Was it somewhere? I think it was kitchen, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure. But Margie's saying, yeah. And she, yeah. she says that she was watching you still do, doing the CPR because she said she like rolled, felt like she was rolling sideways and then she was standing beside the, you and her body. So she rolled out of her body, that's mm -hmm. how she, uh, she went out. And she said, it was happened, she passed so quickly. Mm -hmm. She says, really, Ray, it, it was probably the best way you could go. She says, she didn't suffer. Okay. She didn't suffer and she doesn't blame you at all. At all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because you carry this guilt, mm -hmm. she says, it's anchoring. It's anchoring to her. Okay. She okay. says, every time you feel guilty, she feels bad. Okay. Because she can hear, mm -hmm. she, she knows how he feels. She says, every time you mm -hmm. think about her, you're connecting right to her. Right to Directly her. Directly to her. Directly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if, if he's feeling guilty, obviously Mardi is going to express, um, I mean, experience the, the feeling. And mm -hmm. she feels terrible. She says, when he paces all around the flat, I guess that's what you call a flat, House. 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 Mm -hmm. She says that she, she's right there. If you, when you're pacing around thinking about old memories of hers and things, she's right there with you. Yeah, so she's mm -hmm. there very often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. But that's a, that's a wonderful message, Mardi, you know. That you're saying this directly to uh, Ray Frugari right now. That's wonderful. So maybe perhaps that's going to be... Um, help, uh, some some sort of help to Ray, um, this uh, video. Um, I mean, feel free, Margie, to say anything else uh, before we say goodbye. Um, what else you would like to say to Ray, in any sense, whatever subject or any message? Um, she's, she's saying that the reason she's mentioning with the relationship with his kids, mm -hmm. she says it's detrimental for his health. Okay. That your health would be better if you mm -hmm. worked on this area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To find some sort of balance with mm -hmm. uh, Vicky and Anthony. Mm -hmm. um, she yeah. says if there's anything you you wish to know with the kids to ask while, while you can, she's, she's saying, not that it, she's saying you're tying or anything like that, she's just saying that while, while you're alive, that's the time to ask. That's the time now. You know, because mm -hmm. she has regrets okay. where she is now. She says she has regrets that the family feels like mm -hmm. she was taken and nobody was prepared. Okay. It's like one minute she's there and the next minute she's not there. Suddenly. And then the whole family's in disarray. She says she only wishes that the family could have had like some preparation a little bit. Yeah, they will not prepared. She says, but nobody prepares when no. they were going to go. That was sudden uh, mm -hmm. living, uh, right. obviously. Right, right. It wasn't like Mardi was ill in a bed, somewhere in a hospital right. for months, and everybody's prepared. Oh, she got hurt. Yeah, yeah. They rushed to the hospital. Mm -hmm. It was just so quick. That was different. That was like a situation that, um, you know, very quickly she left. Mm -hmm. And she says when she saw how the family... Not really disintegrated, but it just, the dynamics were like tense mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, there was lots of She tension. just wanted to comfort everybody and she couldn't. She couldn't. And she that's, couldn't. that's, that makes, you know, I imagine how would I feel, you know, if something like this happened. I said, my goodness, I can't, I can scream, I can talk, and they don't see me, they don't hear me. So what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's frustrating too. And yeah. she says, believe it or not, mm -hmm. as much as she'd like to give you a, a special message that you would say, okay, this is definitely her. Mm -hmm. She says they can't do those kind of things. They no. can't, mm -hmm. they can't give a secret word or anything, uh, nicknames, and they can't do it. They can't tell something that's so private. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to do it. Okay. If you don't believe, then you just don't believe. Okay. Yeah, we know right. that. We know that mm -hmm. much. I mean, uh, we don't question. I know, because no communications I ever get 
do they do that like politics for people? They no, just they don't, don't do it. No, they don't. They won't no. do it. They can't do it, no. she said. They can't. I think it's, it's a... It's not allowed. It's a universal law. There's mm -hmm. a law governing the contacts. And uh, what you're allowed to say, how you want to say, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's reasons for it. I understand that much, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I can say I'm a little bit well read on that area. I don't, un I don't know everything, but I know that much. That, mm -hmm. uh, um, and I accept that. I have to respect too, but there's limitations how much somebody can pass on through uh, somebody, uh, you know, mm -hmm. who, is, uh, um, who has a gift of hearing or seeing, you know, mm -hmm. so, well, uh, in this case, I mean, we say th thank you so much, uh, Mardi, for joining us, uh, for sending uh, these uh, messages to Ray, uh, hopefully those messages will be helpful to Ray, um, we are grateful, and um, uh, we can uh, close the session at this point, probably, mm -hmm. uh, because Mardi said, I mean, I gave the opportunity to say whatever she wanted to pass on to Ray, and uh, we can say thank you very much, uh, goodbye for now, and uh, good night. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera off.